Hey guys, this is Sega Panda, and today I'm bringing y'all another review video. I would have brought this to y'all sooner because I actually did film part of it a while back, about a week ago, but the reason I, I didn't get around to finishing editing and filming was because I ended up going to Mexico for New Year's, which was totally unplanned for because I was not planning on spending New Year's in Mexico, but I ended up going to Mexico and I wasn't able to film, I didn't take my camera, and even if I had, I didn't have the sufficient lighting or resources to film, and the fact that there's nothing like home. Anyway, that being said, today I'm bringing y'all a review on the L'Oreal Invaluable Pro Matte Collection, and I have the foundation and the powder. And I actually found these at Walmart, which is crazy because I haven't seen these at Walgreens, CVS, etc. I mean, by now they pro they're probably out, but at that time, I didn't find them anywhere, and I literally got these on the I picked it up in the color 104 golden beige and I don't know what color this is because apparently it was on the sticker that closes it and I think I got 200 beige or something. If you take off that sticker there's no way of knowing what color this is. Keep that in mind. For this foundation in general there's about 12 shades in this collection. I am shade, I believe I'm the fourth shade and the reason I I'm the fourth shade is because the fifth shade is actually more my undertone, however it was extremely, it was way too dark for my skin tone and I feel that sometimes with drugstore foundations they tend to oxidize. So I did go a shade lighter and actually this fits me perfectly. I will say that both of these at Walmart and honestly it's probably the cheapest pricing you'll ever find it was $12 each so I got these for $24 together. And I know a lot of y'all have been waiting for me to do a review on this and how it compares to the Maybelline Smooth and Poreless Foundation. Since this is long wearing and it lasts 12 hours and this will last 24 hours and we're going to test that out. So we're going to see if this is way better than the Maybelline in terms of long lasting power. In terms of longevity, the the, the liquid foundation promises to last 24 hours. It's a demi matte finish, it's medium coverage, and the texture is air light. As far as the powder, it doesn't last as long, but it's still a fair, a reasonable amount. I mean, it's more than what most of us are wearing our makeup on a daily basis. It's 16 hours, and this is actually a matte finish. So this isn't a demi matte, this is matte. It's 16 hours, and it's air fine in texture. Anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and insert the demo right now. Okay, guys, so I'm just gonna take the infallible Pro Matte. L'Oreal foundation in the shade 104 golden beige and I'm gonna put it in the back of my hand first Let me shake it up because when I turned it at the store and yes, I opened it the store I remember one of the ones I was testing liquid came out like a serum I'm thinking that whatever the ingredients are in this they uh, Separated within the, the packaging so I'm just gonna go ahead and shake it up Anyway, now I'm just gonna go ahead and put it on the back of my hand. This isn't a really liquidy foundation I don't know if you can see that but it's definitely staying in place. It's somewhat liquidy, but not really Okay, I tried showing it to y'all. I don't know if that even came up, but... Okay, so I'm just gonna go ahead and put it on the right side of my face and go from there. I'm gonna take my MAC 187 brush, and I'm just gonna go ahead and see what's up. Okay guys, so this is with one layer of application. And as y'all can see, for the most part, it did cover everything up. It definitely evened out my skin tone. I can still see some of my blemish just peeking through, but not as bad as this side, where you can see the redness from my blemishes. It definitely evened out my skin tone. I will say that when you're putting this on, it definitely dries on really quickly, so you definitely have to put it on really quick and definitely buff it into your skin. Otherwise, you're definitely going to be splotchy, or it's not going to be a very pleasant feeling when you have to, like, drag the makeup onto your face. It, this foundation is definitely not full coverage but again in the packaging it says it is medium coverage it does feel super light on my face like it literally doesn't feel like I'm wearing anything other than the tightening feeling of it being super matte because it definitely feels matte on my face but you don't really feel it in the sense that you don't feel cakey you don't feel like you're wearing a lot of makeup so I'm gonna go ahead and put on another layer and this is another little squirt of foundation it's literally like a pea size amount for half my face and let me see if I can build up the coverage Okay guys, so I finished applying the second layer of foundation onto my skin. I will say that it's slightly buildable coverage because it did build up a little bit. You can see my blemishes less, but I can still see them. They're not 100% concealed. But again, this is not a full coverage or a camouflaging foundation. This is definitely medium coverage. But 
I will say that it definitely covered up some of the spots. I will say that when you're building this up, you definitely have to wait for one layer to dry before you go ahead and reapply a second layer. And as you can see the difference, this side is definitely more even, more concealed. You can't really see my blemishes, whereas this side, you know, I have some red breakouts. Everything's concealed. Now on the second, on the left side of my face, I'm going to go ahead and try to apply this with a beauty blender or with my Real Techniques beauty sponge, miracle complexion sponge, whatever it's called. And I'm going to actually use the side part of this just because the bottom part is dirty. I don't know if my mom got into this and she stained it or what, but yesterday when I used the bottom part, it left me like with this weird, like dingy hue to my skin. It was weird. So I'm just going to go ahead and use the side and I'm going to go ahead and go in. Okay guys, that was one layer foundation with the sponge, and yeah. I can definitely still see a lot of my blemishes still peeking through. When you use this with a sponge, it looks more of a BB cream. It definitely gave me the same effect that my Estee Lauder BB cream would have given me. It, there's almost no coverage, but it does even out your skin tone. So if you, if you have minimal to zero blemishes or problematic skin, then this will probably work for you. But for me personally, because I do need a little bit more coverage, the sponge would not work. And I don't even think layering would help with it. I think the sponge just soaks up all the product. I'm just gonna go ahead and go back to my 187 brush to apply the last layer on my left side. So as y'all can see, it's definitely medium coverage. It evens everything out. It's slightly buildable. I won't I won't say it's full coverage though. You definitely have to go back in with concealer. Okay guys, so as y'all know, I inserted the demo right before this, and as I mentioned earlier, I did go to Mexico, so the, the demo of this video was filmed about a week ago, so it's not fresh, but I completed my makeup look. I'm wearing both of these products. I literally just put them on about 10 minutes ago or whatever, so we're gonna do the test of time. I know this is a little weird because it wasn't filmed all in one day, but I gotta make this work. So anyways, guys, it's 4.43 right now, and I'll be back in about two hours, and then from there, judging on how the foundation wears, I'll be back to inform y'all before getting to the conclusion so yeah guys stay tuned keep watching hey guys it's now 11 13 and it's been around six hours since the last time i checked in with y'all and if i'm wrong somewhere down here it'll say how many hours it's truly been since the last time i've checked in with y'all six hours since i initially put on the l'oreal pro matte liquid foundation and powder it's been a long day but throughout the day i haven't found myself touching up as much as I would have if I was using any other foundation. Honestly, even when I wear my Devil Wear, my Estee Lauder Devil Wear, I found myself touching up within four hours, maybe even two, depending on what kind of primer, what kind of powder I set it with. When I use these two together, I'm a little shiny, but it's literally just on my T-zone, and you can barely even tell. It's not even worth touching up. If anything, it looks slightly satiny finished instead of the initial matte. But again, I have not touched up whatsoever. And I'm gonna go ahead and expose my forehead now. And honestly, there's the slightest hint of of oiliness are right next to my nose and on my t-zone in my forehead but it's not unbearable it doesn't look bad and honestly if it was bothering you you could probably touch up with powder and you'd be a-okay and I'm gonna do so now and honestly just by touching up with the powder it looks amazing again and honestly looks like I just put it on so yeah guys we're at six hours and I'll be back in another two maybe four I'm not entirely sure yet we'll see depends how the foundation is doing and when I decide to go to sleep so yeah guys stay tuned hey guys so it's almost three o'clock at night it's been about ten hours since I initially put on the foundation honestly it's holding up really well but I will say that as of ten hours it's definitely starting to break down it's starting to break down around my eyes and around my nose area which from afar doesn't look that bad but once you get up close it looks really bad and really gross so I didn't get oily from the last time I checked in with y'all but I will say that as of 10 hours it's definitely starting to feel really gross on my skin that being said it's just starting to feel a little heavy on my face but and it's definitely that sort of feeling that you get when you definitely need to wash off your makeup that being said my house is really hot so it could be that anyway guys I'm just gonna go ahead and go to the pros and cons the pros to this foundation is that you don't have to use both of these products together 
You can definitely use the foundation on its own. It definitely holds up well. The powder holds up well on its own as well in that it is a matte powder and it will mattify any of the looks that you're wanting to achieve. I will say that this is definitely light to medium coverage. It doesn't have nearly as much coverage as the liquid foundation does. They do last a relatively long time. I can honestly say that I could probably keep this foundation on for another four or five hours. It doesn't feel extremely gross, but again, I've been wearing it for 10 hours, so it is. I'm starting to feel like I have to wash it off, but I could probably wear another Another five hours without it looking gross. Keyword looking. In terms of longevity, it definitely has a stronger staying power than the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless. It almost rivals that of the Estee Lauder Double Wear. However, I will say that the Estee Lauder Double Wear is way more full coverage than this will be, even if you try to build it, unless you just wear a lot of concealer and this over it, in which case you probably will get the coverage. But this on its own does not have does not give you full coverage. Some of the cons to this foundation is that they are a little expensive. This they run you about $12 each so that's getting kind of pricey for a drugstore foundation but this is a great alternative to higher end long lasting foundations I definitely do give this foundation a thumbs up just because it does have a long lasting power it is air like you barely feel it on your skin and it is a matte foundation which I generally tend to lean towards because I do have oily skin so if you have oily skin I definitely recommend this product if you have dry skin you might be wary of this foundation just because it might cling to your dry patches but overall guys I give this a thumbs up definitely check it out at your local drugstore so yeah guys if you like this video make sure to give this a thumbs up if you want to see more videos from me personally make sure to subscribe to my channel and if you've tried this product or have been wanting to try this product let me know down below and let me know what products you've been curious about testing this spring 2015 I'm also really excited to do a review on this shade and light contour palette from Kat Von D that arrived today like guys I'm really excited about this so expect a tutorial or a review demo soon so yeah guys thanks for watching do you have hands out today I'm just bringing out a haul video now as y'all know the year is quickly coming to an end and with that being said there's tons of sales on makeup